Hello, uh, I'm Gidael Morvan, Application Engineer at Anthropology, and today with Yuki, uh, we are going to talk about topology optimized part printable on the FFF printer. So basically what we are going to talk about today is uh, we are going to topology optimize a simple bracket and then optimize it for FFF technology. The idea is that uh, it's kind of important to actually optimize part for, uh, for the manufacturing technique that you are going to use. Uh, because you always want to design for uh, for manufacturing, so use the DFA AM in, the, in this case. It's also it also brings uh, quite some advantages. Uh, for example, it will cut down uh, your material costs and your printing time. That are uh, two really big aspects of additive manufacturing. And also, you won't need any support uh, to be able to print that part. Let's get started. Thanks, Canal. So I'll go over the topology optimization workflow we created for this bracket. We first designed our bracket in CAD and import it into Anthropology to use our topology optimization to lightweight it. So to get started on our topology optimization, we first meshed our part, specified a material, then we added our boundary conditions. So over here, we have our displacement restraints or supports identified in the red region and our forces in our yellow region. So once we have our boundary conditions set, we can then run that topology optimization. So after we get our results, we can go into our window located at the bottom right over here and you can drag that threshold to get an idea of how much material we want to keep or remove, kind of like picking that ideal result, but visually. Then we convert that part to an implicit body and remove those rough surfaces by smoothening that body out. So we might have lost a couple of passive regions like our holes during that process, but we can attach them right back to our part using a couple of Boolean operations and put it all back together to create our final part. Now I'll pass it on to Ganal and he'll explain what we can do with this to make it even more optimized and printable for an FFF printer. So now that we have our topology optimized bracket, what we want to do is that we want to actually be able to remove these kind of overhangs that are not very friendly to uh, FFF technology. So to do so, I'm going to show you two different methods that you can use to, uh, to be able to get a nice but uh, flat surface at the bottom. The first technique will be using manufacturing support block. By using manufacturing support block, what we are going to do is that we are going to create supports on this part. And then by using a couple of uh, blocks, such as offset body and smoothened body, we can obtain material that can be boolean uh, back together with our parts. And this allows us to get a nice uh, flat bottom surface of our part, which is a lot easier to print with FFF technology. The second technique, and for that we can take back our topology optimized part with, uh, with overhang. The second technique is actually going to use two different blocks. The first block, which is going to be section body, and the second block, which is going to be extrude profile. So how does it work? The section body block is actually going to create a section made with a nice plane. And using this section, we are going to extrude material out of it. And by extruding material, we can integrate it back together with the part. In that case, we actually needed to do two section body uh, with two different planes, one and two planes, so we don't miss our material, for example, in the small areas that are, that are missing material. And then we obtain a, very, a good uh, section body that can be integrated back with our part. So these are the two different methods that we can use to actually obtain a nice uh, bottom, uh, uh, bottom surface that is easy to print on FFF printers. Here we see that we have a weight saving of 60% compared to the original bracket. And before that, we had a weight saving of 66%. Uh, so we see that there is a difference of 6% between the topology optimized part and the topology optimized part that has been optimized for FFF printing. We can, of course, always check, uh, re-simulate that, that part to see like, if everything is compliant. And after that, as I mentioned in the beginning, there are different benefits to, uh, to this. For example, here, I printed this part, this part in, uh, with a PA6 uh, with carbon fiber uh, on using a 0 0.6 nozzle. And we see the difference um, uh, between the topology optimized part and the original bracket that are, uh, so the original bracket was taking three hours and 32 minutes to print using 53 gram of material, while the, the topology optimized part 
was using 27 grams of material and took two hours and two minutes to print. I hope you got an idea of why you would want to do this. Reduce the amount of material used, reduce manufacturing time, and reduce the cost of the part. Instead of breaking off those supports and throwing them away, use them directly with the part and make your printing easier with these methods shown today with Anthropology. If you want to download this on top file, go to anthropology.com under resources, videos, find this on top live, and at the bottom, just fill out this form and download the end top file. If you want to learn more about anthropology, contact us by filling out a form to speak with an end top expert. Lastly, check out our support page at support.anthropology.com and type your questions here if you have any other questions. Thank you.